What you're looking at here is the FD550 burster from Formax. Uh, this particular burster operates at a speed of 0 to 200 feet per minute with a variable speed control. Uh, this is designed for entry to mid-level bursting projects. Uh, this particular type of burster uh, could be commonly found in a print shop, a business, um, really any facility where uh, computer forms paper is used. Now in case you're not familiar with what computer forms paper is, it is the, the kind of paper that uses the old tractor feed on the side, has the holes, and this is perforated right here about every 11 inches. And what the burster does essentially is it takes that paper, cuts the sides off, and tears it apart into individual sheets of paper. Now I am uh, showing you the FD550 burster with the stand that is designed to go along with it. Underneath this stand, is a cabinet with a catch tray designed to catch the side tractor feed that is cut off of the paper, which is pretty nice. If you've ever, if you've ever used a burster that did not have a catch tray, it does get on the floor. Um, although you can pick it off the floor and put it in the garbage, it is nice to have a receptacle for that. Now the burster is just sitting on top of that stand. It could be used on a countertop. It does not have to be used with the stand. Let me show you a few features, a few different objects. What you're looking at here is the stacker grill. This right here is the roller. This, these right here are the stacker wheels, which help keep the paper in order as it's thrown out of the machine. Over here you have a wheel that you can use to adjust how often the paper is burst. Um, there are measurements up here that will allow you to make adjustments anywhere from about 3 inches up to 12 inches. This allows you to determine how far apart the paper needs to be burst. Down here is a jog wheel which you can turn and that allows you to manually advance the paper through the machine. You have a power button which when you turn on it glows kind of an orange amber color. Um, there's a start button, a stop button, and then the variable speed controls right here. As it's pulled down and as that white mark there gets bigger, the faster the machine will operate. If you pull it all the way up and you see just the little small white line, that means it's going about as slow as it can go. So again, just hit the start button. And the machine is on. And you can speed that up to 200 feet per minute, which is very, very fast. And you just hit the stop button to turn it off. Another nice thing about this is the cover is designed for safety so that if it is opened, a micro switch turns the machine off. Um, inside of the machine there are m many moving parts. There are wheels, there are rollers, and uh, if this machine were on, there would be a high risk of getting clothing, hair, uh, fingers pulled into the machine, which is a safety hazard. So this is a very safe machine to use. It also has a jam detector back here. This right here is a jam detector. And when it's lifted up, there's a micro switch over here that is disengaged when the jam detector is popped up. So if for any reason paper gets jammed, it will lift that up. And I'll show you what happens. So the machine's running right now. If that jam detector is lifted up, it turns the machine off immediately. And even when the micro switch is re-engaged, the machine is still off until you hit the start button again. This machine does not have any special power requirements. It can use just a standard 110, 120 volt outlet. Um, assembling this machine is pretty easy out of the box. Uh, there is this entry tray here that does have to be bolted into the machine. There are two screws on each side. and Once that's screwed on there, it's very secure. And that goes on the front. On the back part here, you will need to attach the jam detector, which is very easy. It just pulls out and is very easy to just pull out and put back in for setup purposes. Um, these wheels pull out very easily and just sit on these teeth right here, which allow you to adjust the stack of wheels depending on the size of paper you're going to be bursting. Um, there are measurements here on the exit tray for the form length. And what you pretty much need to do is 
have the stacker wheel sit down here, and you're going to want to have the center of the wheel adjusted to the formal length. So if you're bursting paper that's about four and a half inches long, you'll probably want to set it over here, rotate these over, we'll move it up just a little bit more until the center of that is just about on the four and a half inch length, and it's ready to burst every four and a half inches. This roller wheel back here just helps keep the paper in order. There are conveyor belts that pull the paper through the machine. And as it's pulled through, again, this roller keeps the paper down. And as it slides up the back here along the stacker grill, it helps keep the paper in order. So if you're bursting invoices or if you're b bursting something that needs to be kept in order, you can do that with the FD550. There is a bar that helps assist in the bursting process with some bursting points. There are four of them. Now I'm going to remove the bar, which is very easy to do. It is spring-loaded back here. Simply push that bar in, and it comes right out. Now these bursting points can be adjusted depending on the size of paper you're using. If you're using a large sheet of paper, you're going to want to use all four bursting points. If you're using a small sheet of paper, you can just slide one over to the side and use the three. You don't want to use all four on a narrower width of paper. Now this is designed to work with just your standard copy paper, but it can also work with cardstock. What you'll need to do is flip this bursting rod over for thicker paper, which will make these points grab the paper tighter, allowing it to burst thicker paper. If you're using the standard paper, you're going to want to turn it so that the bursting points are higher up. And that may not be very easy to see with the camera, but there are only two ways you can have this put in because it is keyed. So there are only two directions you can have this in. Again, one is for thinner paper, which is this way. One is for thicker paper, which is this way. And if for any reason you notice that the thicker paper is not bursting properly, more than likely you do not have this inserted properly, or you do not have the bursting points adjusted properly. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. And when you pull this uh, rod out of the machine, you will want to make sure that the bursting adjustment plate is slid all the way to the left. That just makes it easier to access the machine. So I'm going to slide that back in there. Again, it is keyed, and we're going to be bursting thinner paper, so I'm going to want to have that adjusted accordingly. And it's now in place. I can now slide the protective cover back and into place. And it's now ready to run. Now there are other adjustments that will need to be made. I'm going to be bursting just standard paper. Okay, since we are using 8.5 by 11 paper, we are going to want to adjust the stacker wheel here so that it is at about 11 inches, which is where it's at right now. Now it can be a little bit forward or a little back, but you want it to be approximately around the 11 inch mark. Now the stand comes with a convenient tray that you can set the paper on. Now again, you can operate this on a tabletop if needed. And it, the paper is inserted, inserted up through the machine. You're going to want to adjust the, sta the side guides for the size of paper that you will be bursting. And you'll want to allow about a sixteenth of an inch of space on each side of the paper. And that's just to keep the paper from getting caught in the machine. Now on the side here, there are tractor feed guides. Simply pull this lever down. That will allow the guide to slide left and right. So open them up. Pull the clamp down. And insert your paper. Once the paper holes line up with the tractor guide here,